Hello, my sweet Scorpios. I am here this evening to do a general reading for the first week of February. This is a general reading, so please take it how it resonates with you and toss the rest. Also, please like and subscribe the channel. I am not new to tarot, but I am certainly new to YouTube and trying to get my feet wet here and learn the ropes. So any help you could give would be greatly appreciated. Um, also, please remember that time is fluid in tarot and gender is neutral. So let's go ahead and get started here for our super Scorpios. All right. We're going to do the past, the present, and the future. We'll certainly get clarifiers here in a moment for these, but let's see what we've got. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Death card. And we have the Four of Swords and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so what we're looking at here in the past, I'm seeing a Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So I'm seeing possibly some money troubles. Um, you know, it doesn't look like you've got full control of finances at this particular moment. Um, and we have the Page of Cups, but the Page of Cups is uh, one that is um, not always the most mature of the pages, I don't think, um, as far as typically saying, you know, we're going to be on a fast trajectory for excitement and um, wealth, but um, it is a, a, a movement sign of, of things to come that are better moving forward much better than a, uh, a reversal of a nine of pentacles. So that's always a good sign, uh, but we'll definitely get um, some clarifiers on that. Here we have the nine of cups and that is in reverse. Uh, so again, nine of cups, he's not moving as forward as fast as we'd like on these relationships and um, opportunities, but uh, you know, he may be stagnant or he may be uh, you know, taking us a step back, but that's okay because it looks like the next card is the death card. And only in tarot is the death card a good card. For the most part, it is a rebirth coming card. It is an ending to something that most likely needed an ending. So um, it usually allows us to regain ourselves, retry, restart. So we'll see how that pans out for us too. Again, clarifiers coming. Over here, we have the Four of Swords. And this makes sense because here, this is a card of reflection and obviously we're resting, reflecting, thinking things through, um, you know, and we have the eight of swords in reverse. So, um, you know, we're, we're backing it up for a moment, uh, but that goes along with our rest and reflection. We're not trying to charge ahead. We're not trying to get forward motion too much. Um, you know, we're taking our time. So we'll see what we've got going on here, Scorpio. Let's get some clarifiers here on this page of cups and nine of pinnacles in reverse and see what we can find out for you. All right, what have we been dealing with here? What have we been dealing with here? Anything we've got here, spirit for Scorpio. All right. We have the 10 of pentacles in reverse. So again, I'm seeing that we've had some financial, uh, you know, issues with it being in reverse possibly we've you know it could be a job loss it could be um you know we've run into some financial issues things like that but you know with the 10 card being an ending it could also be uh an ending to these financial woes um you know we went we went from the nine to the ten and then it's ended so you know this could be where we're coming into a point where we're just going to revamp we're going to rethink things the page of cups may be coming with some options that we can uh we can take a, a chance on something totally new and that may be where the death card comes into play we just start over because you know we're what we're doing now is not working it's just not happening for us <laughs> It's we've hit a we've hit a, a dead end um, financially. So you know maybe at our job we've hit an end. Maybe a partnership we've hit an end here. Um, you know we're struggling a little bit with things like that, and we need to just kind of move forward and and try something different. So um, you know I see the Knight of Cups here. We're leading into this, and it's saying you know take a step back. To me, that's that's saying you know don't be going forward at this particular moment. Um, you know 
think about what you're doing because jumping into the next sinking ship is not a good idea. It's never a good idea. Um, you know, you need to stop and think about what you need to do, reflect, look back, like the page of cups, he's looking back. And, and that's when a lot of people are saying, you know, he's looking back, he's dwelling on the past, this and that, that's not how I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this as he's looking back and seeing what he needs to change. He's looking back and saying, okay, what, what do I need to do uh, to make things better, different? Where, what can I do to get this nine to the 10 ending, to the ending of this trouble? so that we can stop, put it to an end with the death card and just go forward. Um, that's how I'm seeing that. So whatever, you know, whether it's, you need to sever the job that you're in, if it's not working out for you, uh, if you're in a really bad business venture, if you are investing in something and you just aren't feeling it right now, or it's not panning out or it's not paying off, it might be a good time to get out of that right now. It may not be something that you want to keep continuing on with because the Knight of Cups is saying, stop, whatever it is that you're doing, let's go backwards for a minute here. Let's, let's revamp and then let's just put a stop to it. The death card saying no more because at this point, you know, we don't want to continue down this road. Um, so let's see what we've got currently here. What do we have for Scorpio currently on this death card? And this Knight of Cups in reverse. Can you please clarify that for us, Spirit? Please clarify the death card and the Knight of Cups in reverse spirit. Thank you. All right. So we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So again, the Page of Pentacles is a hopeful, uh, you know, option moving forward. But again, he's in reverse. He's saying, you know, back it up a second. Let's not get back here where we were. Let's take a minute and decide what we want to do. And if you've got money out there floating around, if you're invested in things that are questionable, if you're buying into stuff that you shouldn't be, if you're loaning money to people that you shouldn't be, if you're working in something that you shouldn't be, get out of it. Get out of it now. Stop it. Put the halt on it. I mean, literally kill it with the death card <laughs> because all of this, the Knight of Cups is saying, get out of this relationship, um, you know, partnership job situation, whatever this may be that's causing you that let's back it up out of that. The page of pentacles, he's in reverse. He's saying, uh-uh, get out of here. You know, we're, we're not, we don't want to continue down the same trajectory, whatever it is that you're doing, that's not working. And you can see, uh, with these reversals that it's not working, you know, it's not working, you know, how it resonates with you. Um, and, think about it. You've probably already been thinking about it. You've probably already thought, you know, this, this really isn't feeling right, but maybe I should let it ride. Spirit's saying no. <laughs> Spirit is saying, don't let it ride. You know, don't wait this one out. If this is one you're waiting for it to come back up, probably it's not. It's not a good idea to wait this one out. This one's probably one to get out. Um, you know, it's, it's not one to ride the wave. Uh, so let's get another clarifier here for our Super Scorpios on the Page of Pentacles, the Death Cup, and the Knight of Cups backwards. I said the Death Cup. Woof, the Death Card. Lordy have mercy. Okay. Can we get some clarification, please, Spirit, on this one? And we have the Queen of Wands. So um, once you do this, it's looking like you're getting where you need to be. So um, we're having a, a, the death card. Once you stop it, once you put a halt to all of this, you are going to get much better options, much better relationships, much better choices. You are going to be able to have more control, more flexibility. Um, you're going to have more authority over your finances, over your uh partnerships, all kinds of things going on here that are going to be much more positive than what you've been having. Um, because again, you know, and this may have been something that you've been thinking about for a long time. Like I said, this may have been a job you've been thinking out about for a long time, uh, a finance you've been thinking about for a long time. You know, you may have been invested in something and you're like, it keeps going down. Uh, but you know, market fluctuates or, you know, this, this, partnership I'm in is just really not paying off, but I keep thinking it's going to, or this 
you know, I got involved in a pyramid scheme and I, I want to get out, but I want to try this first. You know, let me see if I can, you know, write it out. And just, you know, this is telling you to stop, stop now, get out now, and you will be all the better for it, all the better for it. So, um, you know, this is not one to, to wait on that. Um, and then, you know, once you do that, it, it's saying, you know, take your time to think about this. Because once you've gotten out of it, you're going to feel so much better, so much relief. You're not going to feel this weight of all this. So take time to rest and reflect. Rest and reflect. Don't, no need to move forward super fast. That's why the Eight of Wands is in reverse. You don't need to jump forward. You don't need to jump into the next greatest thing. You don't need to jump into the next investment. You don't need to jump on the next scheme that comes by. You don't need to be jumping on the next, uh, you know, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. You don't need to jump on the next side hustle, side gig, uh, you know, get rich quick deal um, because it's only going to end up back here again. So if those are things you've been contemplating, thinking about, um, you know, it's spirit saying no. Spirit saying, post up here for a minute. You know, chill out, calm down, rest, revamp, and then we'll see where we can go from there. So let's see where we're going to go from there for Scorpio. Spirit, can you help us out and see where we're going to go from there, please, Spirit? Please, Spirit, let us know where we should go from there for Scorpio. Whoop, we've got a jumper. And that is, you know what? We're going to bury that one because I'm not really sure if that came upside down or right side up. So I am going to bury it and I apologize. But we are going to put that back in there. Could you please clarify where we're going here, Spirit? All right. We've got the King of Wands and he's upside down in reverse. So again... This is something where, you know, this to me says there's a negative energy. There's a negative energy that maybe I, you know, I feel like this negative energy that's telling you to back up, uh, it's, it's a reversal energy. So it's trying to, to back you up. And I think that's possibly, this is possibly something, maybe a partner, maybe someone over here that you were in the business with. Uh, that you had a relationship with, that you were in dealings with, somebody who talked you into investing with them. Um, and, you know, they were trying to uh, um, establish their control, dominance over you. And, you know, spirits saying we're not having that anymore. You know, they're, we're flipping this upside down. The King of Wands is no longer, you're standing tall and, and they're just, you know, we're pushing them back because we're contemplating what to do, but this is not going to be, this is not going to be the, the end all be all anymore. So let's see, can we get some clarification on that King of Wands? Is this King of Wands somebody that's going to continue to bother us? Or are we going to be able to overcome? Is this King of Wands going to be a spirit energy that's going to bother us? A negative energy? Or did we bury him with the death card already? So we have the Empress, and the Empress is in reverse. But the Empress is typically the uh, the queen of her domain. And the fact that here she's in reverse, it's it's stifling a bit. It's, it's basically saying, you know, don't grow too fast. That's how I take this. I'm taking this as don't grow too fast again. Um, you know, all of these to me, are backtrack cards. All of these to me are saying, you know, you can have these major energies, but you need to back them down. Um, you know, we want to be cautious and calm. We're, we're starting over. And when you start over, you want to start over slowly. You want to do what's right. You've got yourself into some financial dealings here that obviously weren't great. And we don't want that again. The Empress has all the things she needs to have. She has everything at her disposal. Everything's growing around her, but she's reversed here. And I think that's telling you, don't grow too quickly. You don't want to grow too quickly. You don't want to, 
grow your business too quickly. You don't want to try to grow your finances too quickly. These get rich quick schemes, these side hustles, all these things that you're trying to get into, you know, they may be great on paper uh, when people are selling them to you, but they don't pan out. So, you know, again, something you might want to avoid. Um, let's get some clarifier on that as well, please. Spirit, can we get a clarifier on that, please? Can we get a clarifier on that, please? And we have the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is basically saying that you've taken your time and it's going to end up with fortune for you, with abundance for you, with opportunities for you. Um, but you're going to have to take it slow. I mean, again, here, you know, you have all of the opportunities you need here. You have all the, the chances, the choices. Um, everything is at your disposal here. But you have to rest and reflect. You have to not grow too quickly. You have to not fall back into this trap where you are going to be hustled, where you are going to be, um, you know, bamboozled, basically, uh, is a word I love to use. Uh, I just love that word. Um, into, <laughs> into things that seem too good to be true because 99.9% .9 of the time, if they seem too good to be true, they are. Um, so once you've done your slow contemplation, once you've taken the Empress energy, which is a strong, powerful energy, it is a um, maternal energy that is going to allow you to develop and blossom. But with her being in reverse, I think it's just saying slow down and don't grow too fast. But if you use her energy and you use your Queen of Wands energy, and you slow it down, you're gonna reach the Queen of Pentacles energy. And I think that is an ultimate abundance card. This is, this is you having abundance. This is you getting back to where you should have been here, but you did it the right way this time. Uh, you know, but you had to break something. You had to stop. Uh, if you keep trying to ride out whatever it is that you're trying to ride out financially, um, you're never gonna get where you need to get. That's not gonna work for you. Uh, you know, you're gonna have to have the death card, you're gonna have to start over and you're gonna have to do it the right way. Slow and steady wins the race way and that's how it's gonna have to happen. Um, so, but it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen for you, it's right here. So we're gonna pull three of these and we won't do reversals on these, whatever comes up, we will take them as they fall. Please give us three, oops, three delicious cards for Scorpio, please, spirit. Three cards for Scorpio, please. Please give us three cards for Scorpio. All right. All right, and we have the moon card. And the moon card is typically a card. It's gonna tell you that, you know, a lot of times you are gonna be frustrated, frustrated in jobs, frustrated in your situations. And I can see that about you because from the way I see here, you're probably a person who wants things fast. You want them and you want them now, Scorpio. You, <laughs> you want it to happen. You're tired of, uh, of all this. You, you didn't even want to break because you were like, it's coming back. I can do it. I want it. I want it now. Um, and the only way you achieve it was having patience. Um, so the moon card is, is a card that's basically saying you're going to have some frustration with this, but you're going to have to have this patience. So just know you'll probably be frustrated through this, through this slow time, through going the right way with it. Um, you know, not being able to just twinkle your nose and be rich tomorrow or back to a great wealth or what have you tomorrow, but that, you know, it's coming. Uh, you have the Three of Cups, and this is a celebration card. This is a celebration card. It's a card of uh, cooperative relationships. You know, there are going to be people involved here, and I'm sure that you're going to meet people in relationships that are going to work with you. You have the Queen of Wands. This is going to be opportunities that are eventually going to lead to this, but in the right way. So these are gonna be the people that you want to work with. These are the, the people you can celebrate with. These are not the people who are going to try to 
uh, you know, pyramid scheme you or pull you into some sort of, you know, uh, get rich quick thing. These are the people who you can count on to actually work. So some trusted confidants. Uh, and then you have the Knight of Pentacles. And this Knight of Pentacles is saying, you know, I'm coming and I'm bringing news of opportunity. And you, you'll be celebrating that opportunity. You'll be using all of your contacts and your relationships and your authority here to eventually, eventually get, get to here. So, you know, it's coming. It's everything that you're hoping for is coming, but you're going to have to be patient. Uh, I know that's difficult for some of you, Scorpio. Um, as for this, we have a Oracle deck here with just some general advice in it. Hopefully some of this will resonate with you or your reading as well. I will pull three of these for you also. I hope you will be able to get something from them also. So obstacles and blocks are lifted. So again, the death card is going to be your shot at that happening. You're going to have to block, block. The block here is you. You're the block. <laughs> because you're not letting yourself get out of stuff that you're questioning yourself. I mean, you know what you need to do. You know what's holding you back financially. You know what you feel like is a bad investment or it's not doing what you need it to do or you've been riding it out too long or it's a storm. And um, it's going to be lifted, but it's going to be lifted by you. You're going to be the one to do that. Quiet retreat. That's what it's going to take. You saw that. This whole thing is quiet retreat. Quiet reflection. You know, you're quiet, calm, patience, quiet retreat. You're going to have to take some time and patience to get where you need to go and ask for your needs to be met. So, you know, this is where you come in with your cooperation here. This is where your three of cups people are going to come in. These are the people that you can trust, the ones that you actually need. They're going to be your trusted confidants that you can ask for, ask for help from, and they're going to be the ones that will give you real sound advice, sound help to get to the right place. They're not, they're not your fly-by-nighters. So that's what you need to get with. And then, okay, and we have just one little last thing here that I like to do, and that is um, we have this little yes, no, maybe so thing, and we like to see if we can answer a question. So pick a stone, that'll be your stone, and uh, think of a question, and we'll see if Spirit will help you answer the question. So. Spirit help Scorpio please come up with the answer to their question. Ooh, we got it one far away. Okay, this one is a maybe. Two of these are will not answer. Spirit will not answer you today. This one's a try again. And these two did not go anywhere. So we will re-roll them. We have a definite yes on this one. We have a will not answer for you. Spirit doesn't want to answer you. We have rephrases, it looks like, on these, so we will give them again. We're off the board here. Goodness gracious, I'm having a time here. Okay, and both of these are rephrased, so rephrase your question, please. This one is a definite no this time. This one still wants rephrase, and the spirit will not answer you anyway, so he made you rephrase it or she several times for no reason, but <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was just a little bit of fun there and uh, maybe it gave you the answer you were looking for. Maybe it didn't. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the um, reading. I hope it resonated with you. If it did, if you could please like and subscribe, I would appreciate it. If you have any tips or hints about the way to make my channel better, I would greatly appreciate that as well as I am new. Um, but if you would like to share the video, I would greatly appreciate that as well. Uh, otherwise, I hope you have a great week, Scorpio, and we'll see you back soon. Thank you.